Hey guys, today me and Andrew are going to be trying four uh, trail mixes from Meyer. Uh, we bought these at Meyer, of course. Uh, the reindeer one, for some reason, was $8.99. The rest of them were $5.99. More chopped? I don't know what the deal was. So, so we have, I don't know why they would be different. Who knows? Uh, this one is the rain, reindeer bait. That's why it's bait for reindeer. Uh, this one is the mistletoe. Oh, real quick. I'm also noticing that this is a pound and 10 ounces, and this is only 12 ounces. Oh, uh, and this was a pound and this is 20. So that's almost two pounds. Right. Because of the chocolate. Yeah, it is more. So yeah, that's that, true. That, that could be why. Anyway, I've got a holiday party mix, and then I have a spicy angry elf mix, which is Cajun. Angry elf. All right, so we're gonna try the the, uh, the reindeer one first, and it is 160 calories for two tablespoons. <laughs> wow, um, there are 25 servings in that bag. Can you imagine eating uh, two tablespoons of this? Who's gonna do that? Nobody's eating two tablespoons of this. No, you're gonna sit it next to you and, and eat, eat half the thing. And eat half the thing before you realize what you've done. <laughs> and then you go, wow, I feel sick. <laughs> yeah, you're like, wow, that's tough. You look over, it's gone, and yeah. you're like, oh. Okay, I see cashews and big chocolate drops, and uh, you ever notice that a bag of beef jerky is usually gone about two or three pieces before you're done? I know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you want more. Yeah, it's usually okay. okay. So this one has milk chocolate covered caramel cups, milk chocolate peanut gems, roasted and salted cashews, and salted caramel peanuts. So you should have four different things in there. Really. Yeah. Caramel cut, gems, roasted and salted cashews and salted. And yeah. chocolate peanut. So I've got all four. Yep. Yeah. 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 Is that it? <laughs> Eminem got away. Not actually an Eminem. They're like a peanut M&M though. No, they're peanuts. Yeah, they got well the one I've been into had a peanut, no? I'm going to put this really, really tiny one. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That's a half peanut. Well, I meant that one. That's good. It's not a uh, little caramel. Mm -hmm. That's why I just tried one. That's it's actually pretty good. That's a very sweet mix. Extremely. Um, the cashews, you taste the cashews, but there's not quite enough salt in there to really bring out salt. No, so they're, they're all not. sweet, really. Looking at these and tasting individual cashews, there's no salt to them. Oh, really? No. Like, if you were to grab that cashew and eat it, it's, yeah, a, it's just kind of not It's salty. a straight up nut. There's no, there's no salt to it. It's just no a, salt. Yeah, yeah and nobody right. wants a non salt. I mean, you might. You might be that one, but I'm not that one. No, but we, that one. we don't buy low soda. Nobody we know mix nuts in this house. Doesn't eat <laughs> no salt nut. Now, you might not be able to, medical or whatnot. Anyway, I think this is one of those mixes where you could eat individually get hand oh, yeah. it's just going to be a sweet it's sweet kind of mix there's nothing spectacular about it yeah, it's just your average but you're going to get a lot more from what it looks like in these little cups i do think. like those though. which the is a good thing cups. yeah that's probably exactly. the best thing in the mix yeah I mean, it's basically peanut m m's and little tiny caramel cups mm -hmm. and some cashews and the little peanuts not too be tall i didn't really taste a lot going on with those peanuts really and there's not very many of these little honey roasted ones in there yeah at all i mean there's hardly any nuts in this container here's one yeah, there's <laughs> hardly any nuts in the container. Yeah, there's so. hardly any of them in there. So, and they're peanuts, so you would think there'd be a lot of them. The next one is mistletoe. It has uh, red and green M&Ms. It actually says M&Ms. Uh, dry roasted peanuts, yogurt flavored coconut, oh, yo yogurt flavored <laughs> coated waffle, cone pieces, <laughs> yeah. and pretzel that's squares. That was a mouthful. Yeah. There's a whole line just for that one thing. Um, this one's 150 calories for two tables. So it's the same thing. No, it's 10 calories less. It goes 10 calories less all the way down the line. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's like what, 150? 160? 160, 160 150. 140, 130. Ah, well, there you go. Because you're, 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 uh, you're getting rid of the uh, two tablespoons, uh, fourth of a cup and on this last one. Uh, who knows? 28 grams, 30 grams. So, yes, two tablespoons. <laughs> okay. Get it everywhere, why don't you? I did. All right, you well, got these two little things. Squares. Let me get two of these little things. So you got red and green M&M, so it's just an M&M. Um, you got dry roasted peanuts, which I don't know why you need a dry roasted peanut, but okay. Yogurt flavored coated, coated waffle cone pieces. 
and a pretzel square. Hmm. I tell you what, I like those little waffles, the yogurt coated. This is a big one. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. And the pretzels add a little saltiness to it. Just a little. A little. They're, they're not salty salty, but they add just a little bit in there. The peanuts might as well not be in there though. For me, that's an incredibly bland um, mixture. I agree. Um, Even yeah. the first one had more flavor than, the, than that one. Honestly, I'm a, I think that these little peanut non m ms are better than the actual m ms in this one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably the same thing. This one here, I think you could skip this one comfortably. Um, there's, yeah. I mean, I think if you actually sat down and sort of, if you said, oh, I love these yogurt pieces, and you went to pick them out, you'd probably get about 30, 40 of them out of this container. Yeah. You're going to run out of them quick. You're going to run out of them quick, and then you're going to be left with nuts that are no good, because there's no there's Did no you eat all the pretzels by themselves? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah they're, so I've tried, <laughs> I've tried most of it individually at this point. And together and it's like eh. when i eat a handful of them it's it's okay but boy you eat individual pieces it's boring and condemned. so that mistletoe mix wasn't much mm -hmm. now what's this one got now this one is going to be more me and you kind of yeah it's got some spice it's, it's missing our little flat what do they call the little sesame sticks no not the sticks. i like the sticks i do too but i'm talking about the little flat black uh they're brown like little bread things yeah all right so this has roasted and salted peanuts Cajun style corn sticks, garlic bread nuggets, hmm. salt and pepper cashews, and pretzel squares. So they got quite a bit of this one. Yeah. Did you just kind of open yeah. it and give it a. Get, once you get corn, you kind of got to work your way around. No, I thought you gave it maybe a half season. Uh -oh. then... No, I dumped the whole bag in there. I like the big, I mean, the, I like the looks of it, the big bread things. It's cool. Come on, see. Pretzel, Cajun stick. You gotta get a Cajun stick. That's where all your flavor's gonna be. And yep. the cashew. And it's the same exact pretzels. So you get five. Five different things. Yep. Let's see you got. I don't know. You look like you've got. Oh, you just you got a giant peanut. I got a big peanut. <laughs> That's what that is. Bring the crunchy. You know the initial bite had a lot of flavor, but then it quickly like goes away. And I think it was all the flavor was in that cashew of salt and pepper. Well, I take two Cajuns on their own. You know, Cajun ones aren't bad. I'm trying that out. Um, I'm trying all these bread things. The Cajun sticks are, are pretty decent. That salt and pepper cashew did have a lot. Mm -hmm. But I'm staring into it right now and I can see two cashews. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty good at the little Where's Waldo stuff. So, two cashews. So, you're not going to get a lot of cashews in no, here. No, and that's the best thing in there. And that's the best thing in here. Um, is that. The, the cashew sticks are a little spicy. A little bit. I'll give you that. Get a little tingle. No. And, of course, oh, and, and of course, you know that everybody uses these. Little, it's filler. As a filler, exactly. <laughs> Those and, pretzels are filler too. And they're bland. I like the crunch to them though. I do like the texture of them, but they don't have a lot of flavor. But the pretzel things are just nothing. You could really. pull those out and use them as croutons. You could. <laughs> Same thing with those pretzel things though too. They, they're nothing, just crunch. So really you're getting this for the cashews in the, in the what I was gonna say, sriracha. Uh, the Cajun. Cajun style sticks. And there's, there's really not a lot of each in here. Well, there's a bunch of sticks in there. The Cajun sticks is a bunch, but the you don't cashews, see a ton of cashews. cashews. There's not a lot. No, cashews are expensive though. So what do you think? Okay, but not. They're okay. Uh, there's, I think, if you want sweet, go with this one, the reindeer. Uh, savory. That one's okay. We'll see what this one's like. Because <laughs> this one's angry elf. Angry so elf. Hopefully it's. I think it's going to be. I bet you it's exactly the same. It's the same Cajun sticks, I know that. Yeah, Cajun and then buttered toffee peanuts. I love those in the Walmart mix. Chocolate flavored candies, so they didn't go in the in this one. <laughs> they couldn't afford it. Um, chili lime peanuts. Okay, that could go either way. Sesame sticks. 
Yeah, I like your <laughs> And roasted and salted almonds. Mm. So very different. I thought it was going to be close to like the same. God bless. The same. I'm, I'm off with it. This is like opening peanut butter. All right. I see an almond. I put a couple of them. Yeah, it is. Okay, I see one right up top. I'll go and grab that one. Stickies. Right. Big peanut. All right. Stick. Lime peanut. Deep sesame stick. Sesame sticks, by the way, is always the best thing in a container. Which you would pick through and be done with in zip. Those and the peanuts. The, my two favorite, Walmart has a similar mix to this. Not, it does not quite the same, but it's similar. Little the two best things in there is the sesame sticks and the peanuts. The honey roasted peanuts. Sesame sticks makes all the world a difference. Because that flavor jumps to the top. Oh yeah, it's so good. Every time. That's a good mix. It's still not super... It's got that... Like spicy spicy, but it, it does have some good flavors going on. And it... See, mine was at first, it was all Cajun and sesame stick. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I got to the the two sweet things last, so it finished off completely yeah. sweet. Yeah. Same for him. So, Charles, that, that's my favorite part. Well, the on the sesame sticks, the the peanuts. The, I love um, those peanuts. The top butter toffee peanuts. Mm -hmm. So this is a good mix for you. Yeah, I would eat that one. That's a good mix. I love us. I love the um, sesame sticks. Oh, the sesame sticks. Yeah, you can't have a big one. Okay, you need to eat that. The lime peanuts are not bad. I'm thinking about Joey, man, they're just a massive sesame stick. I don't like the lime peanuts by themselves. Ooh. And a little grub worm. Ooh, that's really strong lime. The little peanut, the regular peanut? Yes, they're very strong lime. If you eat them as a mix with everything else, it's, it's good. Ooh. But boy, it's strong when you eat them by themselves. I mean, like, wow, that's lime. But honestly, together as a handful. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, uh -huh. I didn't even pick up the lime. So that, grabbing by handfuls and just throwing it in your mouth is really, really good. So, out of the four, these two are probably your winners. Yeah, yeah, the reindeer, reindeer, and then the... Uh, if, they'd have, if they'd have thrown sesame sticks into this... I probably would have liked that one as much. I don't know, I really like those um, the honey roasted, the peanuts. Mm -hmm. But sesame sticks, and those little, I'm telling you, I can't remember what they're called, but the little bread flat, they're yeah, very, I know what very, you're very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite things. Like uh, the bagel chips or whatever. Yes, you put those in there too. Yeah. Yeah, so those so two things in addition. You're talking about they're really dark brown. Yeah. Yes, I know. He's talking about <laughs> Melba toast almost. They're really hard. Oh, um, it's my favorite. So I agree. I, I think the sweet is the reindeer and the angry elf is the savory. So either one of those would be good. They're all good, but those are the best too. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll have a picture for you at the end.